Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and today we're going to survive the zombie apocalypse on the smallest of worlds because we're going to be playing Above Snakes, the release of Above Snakes. Now, we did check the demo of this game out about a year ago now. You guys loved it. I loved it as well. Uh, the premise is super unique. It is a survival game on paper, but you're actually building the world around you as well. So you start off with this very small cube, and as you go about the game, the cube gets bigger and bigger as you actually design new land. So yes, we're going to waste no time, start a new journey today, and, uh, well, obviously, hopefully survive. That's kind of the goal of survival games. The conflict between the settlers and the first people was at its peak. The drums of war echoed across the land like a never-ending thunder. While war raged on, a love blossomed from the fields of hate. Oh, happiness. And from that love, with chaos in the back. Born. Ayana, who had eventually grown into her own, chose to travel the lands and learn for herself the histories of her lineage. With a heavy heart, her mother stayed behind in a town called Corpse Creek. Why would you stay in a town called On Corpse Creek? Evening, Especially in a zombie apocalypse. That's just, that's just a dumb idea. I guess the zombie apocalypse hasn't happened yet, so she doesn't know. The awe of such an event quickly dissolved into horror as a flurry of stones of flame descended upon the town. Most folks fell victim to the debris and smoke that consumed the land, though the survivors quickly discovered that the bodies did not remain still for long. That night, Ayana had stayed in the lumberjack settlement, far away from her beloved mother. All right, well, here we are the next morning from the zombie apocalypse. Let's see what our situation is looking like. Oh, of course I'm playing on keyboard. I mean... Who would use this? Come on. All right, things are looking actually kind of nice here. Ayana, uh, are you awake? So this must be the farmer or whatever I was on. I know. I, I think I said I was on a farm. Um. All right, well, we got a backpack. We want to grab that, obviously. Anything else we can loot in here? Ah, uh, yes. I'm going to steal some currency. Thank you very much. Inspect. It was really cramped here with everyone sleeping in this one room last night. With everyone sleeping? How many people are here? All right, let's go see what's going on. Oh, great. There's a dead person already. Might want to get rid of that corpse. It might turn into a zombie. Ah, it's Joanne. Oh, my. Uh, what are we to do? The horror that came over us. Well, how can I help? We would need some logs to rebuild, even though we have the sawmill over there. I doubt whether we have enough logs to rebuild these houses. Well, do you have an axe? I don't think I have one of those. I've been searching for my axe, but I can't find it among these ruins. I do have flint, though. If you tie it to a strong branch, perhaps you can craft yourself a primitive axe. All right. First thing's done. Get logs. All right, searching the pine tree. I found I found a feather. I don't need feather. I, I need sticks. There's got to be sticks here. There we go. We got a branch. And with the branch, we have our first weapon slash tool, our primitive axe. All right, already leveling up my axes like crazy. One tree, and I leveled up three times. So I don't know what leveling does. I'm assuming it just makes it faster. Uh, I want to gather some rocks now, so I need a primitive pickaxe. Let me just grab some more trees while we're here. Again, as you can see, our world extremely small, so we're probably going to need to get as many resources as possible, and this is just go a good way to train, obviously, as well. All right, looks like I can hit the bushes as well for plant fibers. We're unlocking all these things. Hammers, nice. And, yeah, still leveling up the old axe skill. Oh, look at that. You can connect trees together. I love that. I also think I just found a crap load of wood. I don't, I don't know where I'm putting all this lumber. Don't don't ask, okay? All right, and after slaughtering every tree, we got something like level 12 axe chopping, so not bad. I guess I'll craft these other two weapons that we need to craft and adjusting structures. I already know how to do that. I did play a little bit for the record, so I kind of know what I'm doing. Let's get some uh, stones now. All right, and I think that's pretty much everything for these lands. I have extracted all the resources, so it's just some old homes now. Let's go see what Joanne wants now. All right, so I need to take down a house. Um, Which house? I'm assuming the one that's totally destroyed. And yes, I can just simply take it down with my hammer. That's all you need is a little hand hammer, and you can take down a whole house, I guess. Sweet. And we're going to get our first crafting station, the workbench. I was hoping to build the home first, but I guess I need this to build the home because I want that inside, obviously. All right, and now we can actually build structures. Now, this is for Joanne. I don't think this is my home, so I'm going to go as cheap as I possibly can. She wants at least four foundations, so I'm going to give her, you guessed it, four foundations. And then uh, I guess I can do a window and some doors and stuff. The better a shelter is constructed, the more shelter it provides. The more shelter it will provide, the more perks it will unlock that give bonuses. That's actually really cool. That's one thing survival games haven't 
really done that I can think of. I mean, yes, you can build whatever the hell you want, but sometimes it just doesn't make sense to build big structures. I like the idea of the bigger and more fortified your shelter is, the more bonuses you get. So it looks like we can get maximum health increase. I don't know what the rest of these things are, but uh, that's really, really cool to me. And the building in this game, super simple. It's just drag and drop. And uh, yeah, I really am enjoying this game so far. I'm super excited to get deeper into it because I think it's going to be a nice interesting little small survival game all right so we got the walls and flooring done i guess we do need a roof it is raining out after all all right so we have a flat or angled roof we'll obviously do the angled roof we're gonna need four of these and then we have a very basic shelter okay and there we go good as new home sweet home what do you want now Look at that home. Great work, Ayana. There's something else that requires our immediate attention, though. I just realized that the person lying over there is still breathing. He inhaled some smoke of the meteorites last night and fainted. Later, some debris seemed to have wounded him. When I found him this morning, I checked on him and for certain he was not breathing. I love how she told me to build a house and, you know, cut down trees and everything before she told me that the guy on the ground is no longer breathing, but he was fine before. I think Joanne just wants this guy dead. Do you know what to do? Um, sure. I know what to do. Make him breathe. Uh, bandages will stop the, ble the bleeding. Okay, so we gotta go find some bandages. All right, there's gotta be some good loot in here. Oh, hello. All right, we got a barrel here. Oil lantern, that should come in handy. Got a pocket watch. Ah, there's the bandage I need. Let's all obviously explore everything, because I feel like loot's gonna be hard to come by after this starting zone. All right, we got a horseshoe as well. Some more coins, and let's go help this poor soul on the ground. Are you okay, buddy? Yeah, you seem fine. Everything's fine. All right, here's your stupid bandage. Get up. <laughs> I don't think he's still human. He's very gray. Called it. Uh, he turned into one of these things. Be careful. They are extremely aggressive. Why am I so freaking close to them then? Goodbye. Uh, what do we do about this? We have a problem. This is what we do. Oh, god damn it. Okay, already getting hit. Great. First freaking attack I get hit by. I am not going to survive this, am I? All right, so just keep the distance. And dead. Goodbye. Loot. I don't know if I want the loot on this guy. It's kind of gross. I got some bones. Yay. Well, that was a huge waste of time. Thanks for ma making me heal a freaking zombie. All right, and we got our first map piece. This is where this game gets really unique. Um, So she gave me a berry map. Uh, So there should be a bunch of berry bushes. And we can choose wherever we want these to go, uh, as it just said there. So I guess it doesn't really matter for the start. We will throw the map. Oh, this is so cool. Uh, we'll throw it, yeah, right here. And moderate climate. We can choose planes. That's all we have. Slap it into place. And blammo, we just doubled the size of our world. And look at that. As it said, we have huckleberries. All right, and there's a scout feature. So you actually do have to, like, explore your worlds before you can just spawn more. So you can't just spawn a crap load looking for the thing that you want, I'm assuming. Uh, so that's pretty cool. That's what that bar down here is. Uh, once we have that full bar, we can make a new world. Okay, well, I ate a berry. It looks like Joanne screwed off. I don't know where she went. Did she jump off the edge or something? We have a letter. I'm deeply sorry I had to leave all of a sudden. The Frontier sent a carriage uh, to pick up survivors. The least I can do is leave the cabin to you. You built it after all. I was literally not even 30 seconds away. 10 seconds. You couldn't walk over and say, hey, you know, there's something here that's going to save us. No, you just, you just left me a letter that took longer than it would take to go talk to me. They said the plague began to spread from corpse creep. They reported meteorites falling down there too. Horrible. Some people survived, but most of them fled. If you talk to them, maybe they will bring some light into the dark. Sincerely, Joanne. Screw you, Joanne. All right, so we got to find a survivor's camp now. Uh, Hunter's Rest is left behind by all the survivors. The remaining houses offer valuable resources for survival. Use the hammer and take down the remaining two buildings to make this place your own. I kind of want to keep those, but you know what? They are kind of messy, so we probably should take them down. So let's do that first. And I can't actually take it down. What? I can take that down. I don't know if I want to take that down. That's better than my house, but... I mean, we should probably make this our own. There we go. I don't know. What was that? I had to be at a spe very specific spot. There we go. Nope. Okay, there we go. All right. Well, hopefully I looted all that because all I got out of that was two lumber and some plant fibers. But we are now starting from scratch. All right. So we can move the shelter on the fly if we want to by taking it down. Uh, obviously, right now, we don't have much of a world to explore. So we'll just have a very basic base for the time being. I want to focus on expansion right now, uh, collecting resources and whatnot, and unlocking some more worlds to see what else uh, we have at our disposal. 
Okay, I just maxed out my world pieces, so there's no sense doing more here. Uh, just because I'm not getting any more world pieces. I guess it doesn't really matter, but yeah, I'd like to actually expand out a little bit. I also realized I don't have a bed yet, and I am getting tired, so I might want to, you know, start working on that. Um, where do I want to go? Do I want things close to my base? I don't know if I... Yeah, I don't have anything, do I? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can just do ordinary plains climates right now. So, yeah, let's keep the piece around my base. Uh, I guess we should also expand out my little, uh, home a little bit at least. All right, now we have a brand new expanded house. Super easy. Uh, the one thing I would like to move is obviously my workbench. I think I gotta remove it to move it. So, it's a bit of a bummer, but that's fine. We get our resources back. It's all good. Look inside. Beautiful. All right, so I'll put my crafting stations over here. Workbench. Uh, we can see the perks that we get. So uh, I am at shelter level one. And then we can all go all the way up to shelter level six. Okay, but I can select my perk. That's actually really cool. So fortifies your shelter. Your maximum health increased by 10. Wheatstone sharpen your weapons. Your melee damage increased by three. Or hay beds are softer. Your maximum fatigue and maximum sanity increased by 15. Uh, I'm gonna go for the simple thing of health. I think that's probably pretty smart right now. Uh, there's a lot more to this. Well, we do need a bed, so we might want to do that right away. Uh, we'll obviously get the campfire as well. And I guess that's good enough for right now. We got a lot of room in here, so perfect. We'll throw the bed in the corner. And I guess fire, yeah, has to be outside. Makes sense. I mean, we are in a wooden structure. Probably not the smartest idea to have it on the inside. All right, not sure what this is about, but this looks really cool. We'll throw that in this corner, and let's figure out... Okay, so this is how you unlock different types of terrain. Uh, so I need planes. Sure, we'll do that one. Four rocks to purchase that, and it's a little bit different than the other one. So the other one was planes. This is planes and pine forest. I guess that's all I can do for right now. So hopefully I can find this settlement with these new ones. Coming across different biomes, you can place those biomes wherever you want on the map, but you need to make sure to create transitions between them. The biome on the edge of each world piece needs to match the surrounding world pieces. Think about when placing a new world piece. All right, so biomes do play a role. So, for example, you can have a rainforest by a desert, I'm assuming, something like that. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You can also remove part parts of the world. I don't know why you would want to do that. Maybe if you accidentally spawn zombies too close or something like that. That's really, really cool. But we're going to make a new world piece, and we're going to... Oh, that's so neat! So yeah, as you can see, the red line tells me that I can't have the forest by the planes. So we need to rotate it this way, and then put a forest, obviously, on that side. So there is some strategy to placing these. Uh, they definitely upgraded from the demo of this game, because before it was very basic. It was, like, totally randomized, if I remember correctly. All right, and look at my beautiful pine forest with four trees, and one's dead. <laughs> What king king bullet? What the frig is a king bullet? I'm assuming that's a mushroom. I thought it was like a a frog king or something that I just stumbled upon. It is a mushroom. I don't know if I should eat that or not. All right, so I did unlock the pine forest somehow. I'm not really sure how, but I'll take it. Oh, this is going to be super satisfying. And then obviously we'll place this here. We'll collect all these resources I'm spawning sooner or later. But right now, I just want to find that survivor camp. Oh, stamina is even a skill we get increased. Awesome. All right, so yeah, we're going to add a forest here. All right, so night is something we have to worry about in this game, I guess. This wasn't a thing before, but uh, as dusk comes, the zombies do come out. So we need a light source as well as my shelter. So I'm just going to head home once I chop this tree down. See if I can daisy chain some trees together. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, the more logs we have, the better. All right, yeah, let's get home. I don't want to screw around right now. I have my cooking station. I'm assuming that's fine for a fire. All right, yeah, we'll throw this thing on. Maybe cook some more uh, berry soups. And, uh, yeah, call it a day. Oh, big old question mark on my workbench. Uh, if I upgrade my workbench, I'll be able to build more complex things. Every workbench level requires certain resources. I already know. I'm, I'm, I'm well ahead of you, game. I'm looking for the beeswax already. Oh, we did get a moderate climate. How exciting. I have everything we need for that, so we will unlock that. And that's the survivor's camp that we need. Okay. Well, it is night o'clock, so let's um, rest. Needs night or tired? Well, I think it's probably both. So we will rest. <laughs> and in the morning, we will spawn in our survivor's camp. All right, so being that this is moderately risky, we're obviously going to uh, spawn this kind of far away. 
just in case zombies spawn. I doubt it's going to be too dangerous for the start of the game, but you never know. All right, so there we go. Survivor's camp. I can just put them on top if I want to. That's cool too, but yeah, we'll throw this. Damn it, I can't put that there. It needs to be on planes. Uh, we'll throw that over here then. Hello, fellow survivors. Are you zombies? You don't look to be zombies, so that's good. Hmm. Good day, stranger. How did you find us here in this nirvana? Well, I spawned you in, literally. All right, so their wagon toppled over and they were attacked by the zombies. I think they want me to get their stuff back. This fire and a handful of provisions are all that stand between us and the grave. Maybe it's too much to ask, but we are afraid of going back there. Do you think you can get our provisions back? I love how they're asking like a 19 year old girl that when they're two husky men. Sure, I can. I will do anything. Just give me loot. Big old wimps. I'm going to steal your stuff, you little jerks. Just let me see if I can actually break these things open. Damn it. I can't. Oh, well, I can open this, though, so don't mind me. Just look the other way, sirs. And I got flint. Ah, there we go. Now we're getting to the good stuff. We got playing cards. Play some solitaire later or something. I don't know what all this stuff is for. I'm assuming trading, maybe? <gasps> Bees! Oh, yes. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, how, how do I do this? Do I search the tree? Do I chop it down? I'm going to search it. Give me the beeswax. Give me the beeswax. Don't sting me. Still getting only feathers. Huh. I think I got to knock this thing down then. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Why did I do that? Okay, hold on. I just have to run around. Avoid the bees. Screw you, bees. I'm going to kill you. Oh, just watch my health. Just watch my health. Okay, we are fine. We are fine. Give me the beeswax. I only got one. God damn it. Only one. I need three. Well, we got a bunch of unlocks, so that's good. Plains, Pine Forest, Plains Lake. Isn't that what I had before? What's the difference between this one and this one? This one's just half. Okay, so there's different versions. I do need the lake, so we're probably going to do that. We also get a prairie unlock as well. Uh, so we will unlock the lake. Need to find some more beeswax as well. I'm going to unlock this prairie as well because we don't have a prairie yet. May as well. And I'm getting low on rocks, so I'll have to keep a mental note of that. I think I'm going to spawn the prairie over on this side. We'll keep the forest biome to the right of me. And yeah, over here, can I rotate this? I can. Okay, perfect. So we're going to put that there. So we have the prairie. Um, and I want a lake nice and close. I'm assuming that's how we get water. So obviously the closer we are, the better to that. So we'll put that over here and we'll put the lake going that way. Perfect. Oh, this is so cool. I can scoop water. So does this mean I can drink? Dirty water. Okay, so I'm assuming I have to boil it. I also didn't check these. We got new plants over here. Vanilla flowers, cotton plants. So we might be able to actually get into making some sort of clothing. Or I guess rope. That makes a lot of sense too. Oh, well, I unlocked the lost provisions, which is for those wimpy guys. So I'm assuming I might have to actually fight here. Um, I also unlocked Plains Prairie. So probably a bigger version of this. I guess I'll unlock that. Probably need, should unlock the majority of these. There's got to be bees somewhere, man. So yeah, I'm just going to start going crazy with these things. Okay, and we are going to put this... Ooh, where, where does this need to go? Oh, it needs to go in prairies, doesn't it? Okay, so it needs to go yeah, right here. I guess that's a good spot for it, so we'll put it right there. Well, I'm not seeing any enemies yet. I'm going to get my weapon out just in case. Oh, a dead horse. Poor thing must have died when the wagon toppled. But what tore his head off? <laughs> can I please tell me I can loot the head? Oh, all right. Well, we got the provisions. Uh, return to them. Okay, so I guess we don't need to bring that to them. Is there really nothing else here besides random plants, which I'm fine with. Plants are good. I uh, but I need bees. Oh, I got. Okay, so I did loot a common key, and I can open this chest with that. I got flint. <laughs> Why is everything just giving me one flint? That's the saddest loot I've ever seen. Mind you, I, I do need flint, so I'm not too mad about it. All right, Sam, I found your provisions, big guy. Please give me something for this. I really got nothing? I got nothing? Oh, hold on. There's a, there's a new question mark. Okay, Greg, what's up? Freaking dudes want me to patch their tents now. What, I'm, 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 what, 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 what am I, a slave for you guys? Uh, pff, I'll do it, whatever. All right, well, he says find some cotton and make some fabric for him. Um, let me guess. I have to upgrade my workbench? Oh, I need to create a tannery. And I need a workbench, too, for that. I just... I don't know if I'm getting unlucky with the bee spawns or what. I feel like it's in the forest tile, so I might just want to spawn in some more forest. All right, so, yeah. You know what? Actually, being that the survivor camp is in the uh, prairie ones, I think I'm... Or, sorry, plains. I think I'm just going to do another plains. Uh, we'll do it right over there. Just tell me there's bees. I didn't see any bees there. I'm not I'm not too happy about that. Let's also just throw a forest in just because we're near this. Just to see if there's any bees over here. Oh, there's a deer. <gasps> I hear bees. Where the hell are they? 
Oh, thank God. Okay, so they are in the forest, as I assumed. There, it's right there. Perfect. I wish I could just loot the bee's nest and leave it so it regens. Because I hate that I have to destroy it to get the loot. And please give me some beeswax. So I get one every time. Oh, this is, this is going to be fun. All right, I hear another one. So at least I have two. Wait, is it over here? Yeah, there it is right there. Wow, you have to be really close to them. And all right, I probably shouldn't risk it. I might want to heal a bit, but we got two. Also, hello, dear. How, how are you doing? I think you're dead now, aren't you? Wow, one hit. Nice. I'm going to need that hide, I'm assuming. And we got some meat. We're getting the good stuff. And hard antlers for more pickaxes. All right, so we know it's in the forest. I'm going to make one more forest tile just going straight out here. And I just need one more beeswax. So there's one right there. Perfect. I got enough health, I think. I should be fine. Oh, God. Oh, God. They hit me twice really quickly. That was scary. Okay, got the beeswax, though. Let's go home. And finally... Oh, I actually got uh, four out of three. Nice. We can upgrade the workbench. Ah. So we got the tannering rack, um, a fletching table, storage chest. Nice. So very useful items. Some arches if I want to get crafty with my buildings. And that's pretty much it besides the decoration items. All right. So let's build the tannery right away because we can do that. And I need a wooden table for the fletching table. I do like that I have to actually put a table down. So we'll do that. Don't know if we have everything for that, but we'll try. All right, so Tannery can go over here, and then a table we'll put by the workbench. Oh, uh, I'm dumb. I needed to have the wooden table in my inventory to build this. Okay, so that's fine. I can just delete that then. Craft another one, and now I can craft my fletching table. That's pretty cool that you have to make the bench. All right, so I'll put it at the far wall like that. So now we can get into bow making, obviously. We need bowstring for that. We'll worry about that later. Right now, it wants me to craft fabric for the wimps in the uh, cart area. So I have enough for one. I guess that's all I'm making right now. Uh, there's so many things we can unlock. I really like the menu layout in this. Super easy to, to learn. All right, it's nighttime, but tomorrow we'll head back and give them their patch tents. All right, I'm getting more complex with my um, cooking. I got a mint tea smooth I was just made, I just made, which helps with sanity. I haven't had much sanity issues yet, but... Really cool. I just love this whole thing where you just kind of learn as you go. And if it says new recipe, that's something you really just want to try. Okay, let's patch these holes up. Or I guess just give them the fabric. I don't know what I'm doing here. Hmm. Greg, here you earned a little something. Uh, what do I get? I don't know what that was. I just, I was reading this. This is the one and only Brown's Miracle Tonic. Patent is pending. Uh, it fixes just about all health problems you might have. Okay, so I've got, got a health potion. I think that was worth it then. Now they want me to look for her mother, who's clearly a zombie because uh, she attacked them in the wagon, and that's why they crashed. But I will look out for her. Okay, I just made some rope because I had enough. That unlocked the fishing rod and enhanced uh, tools, it looked like. Oh, yes, I can make a fishing rod. I'm super excited for this for some reason. Okay, do I need bait? Nope, looks like I can just fish. So do I just sit here and hold it? Yes, I do. And there we go. We got scrap parts. Didn't expect that. I can make traps now? I just want an easy way to get food. I guess it's more than just food, though. So you can deplete these zones. So it's not as easy as just fishing all the time for food now. We are going to have to explore a little bit. Uh, but yeah, this is just super cool. I think it's a good time to wrap up this one here, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this game. I don't know if I necessarily like the top-down aspect of it i've never really enjoyed top down games but i think for something like this where you're literally building the land it's kind of nice game seems very in depth a lot more than the demo so yeah i'm excited to go deeper into it and unlock some more difficult biomes if you guys are enjoying it of course hopefully we can actually see some of the zombies in the near future uh but yeah that's if you guys like it or not so let me know in the comments below and yeah as always guys thanks for watching and liking i'll see you in the next one